Clonal Energy, Wikipedia article audio. Energy is a term in immunobiology that describes a lack of reaction by the body's defense mechanisms to foreign substances, and consists of a direct induction of peripheral lymphocyte tolerance. An individual in a state of energy often indicates that the immune system is unable to mount a normal immune response against a specific antigen, usually a self-antigen. Lymphocytes are said to be anergic when they fail to respond to their specific antigen. Anergy is one of three processes that induce tolerance, modifying the immune system to prevent self-destruction. This phenomenon was first described in B lymphocytes by Gustav Nossel and termed clonal energy. The clones of B lymphocytes in this case can still be found alive in the circulation, but are ineffective at mounting immune responses. Later Ronald Schwartz and Mark Jenkins described a similar process operating in the T lymphocyte. Many viruses seem to exploit the immune system's use of tolerance induction to evade the immune system, though the suppression of specific antigens is done by fewer pathogens. Mechanism Molecular Mechanism of Energy Induction in T Lymphocytes At the cellular level, energy is the inability of an immune cell to mount a complete response against its target. In the immune system, circulating cells called lymphocytes form a primary army that defends the body against pathogenic viruses, bacteria, and parasites. There are two major kinds of lymphocytes, the T lymphocyte and the B lymphocyte. Among the millions of lymphocytes in the human body, only a few actually are specific for any particular infectious agent. At the time of infection, these few cells must be recruited and allowed to multiply rapidly. This process called clonal expansion allows the body to quickly mobilize an army of clones, as and when required. Such immune response is anticipatory and its specificity is assured by pre-existing clones of lymphocytes, which expand in response to specific antigen. This specific clonal army then combats the pathogen until the body is free of the infection. Following clearance of the infection, the clones that are no longer needed die away naturally. However, a small number of the body's army of lymphocytes are able to react with proteins that are normally present in a healthy body. The clonal expansion of those cells can lead to autoimmune diseases wherein the body attacks itself. In order to prevent this process, lymphocytes possess an intrinsic quality control mechanism. This machinery shuts down the lymphocyte's ability to expand, if the trigger for the expansion turns out to be the body's own protein. T-cell energy can arise when the T-cell does not receive appropriate CO stimulation in the presence of specific antigen recognition. B-cell energy can be induced by exposure to soluble circulating antigen, and is often marked by a down-regulation of surface IgM expression and partial blockade of intracellular signaling pathways. Stimulation of the T-cell receptor along with costimulatory receptors of a T-lymphocyte triggers balanced activation of all the T-cell S signaling pathways. In this case, Beside other pathways, calcium-dependent arm of a lymphocyte signaling is activated by TCR. This leads to an elevation of intracellular CAN2 concentration. Under this condition, calcium-dependent phosphatase calcinurin removes phosphates from a transcriptional factor NFAT, which in turn translocates to the nucleus. Additionally, during full T-cell stimulation a costimulatory receptor CD28 activates PI3K or other pathways that eventually lead to increased nuclear levels of REL, NF-kappa-B, and AP1 much more than just by the TCR activation alone. AP1, FOS-June heterodimer, 
further heterodimerizes with NFAT forming a transcriptional complex which promotes transcription of T-cell productive response associated genes. Those are for example IL-2 and its receptor. On the contrary, TCR signaling without costimulatory receptors sufficiently activates only the calcium arm of the signaling leading only to the activation of NFAT. However without the necessary induction of AP1 by other pathways, activated NFAT is unable to form the transcriptional complex with AP1, as it does during complete T-cell activation. In this case NFAT homodimerizes, working as a transcriptional factor that induces energy in the lymphocyte instead. Clinical Significance NFAT homodimers are directly responsible for the expression of energy-associated genes such as ubiquitin ligase grail or a protease caspase 3. Moreover, the expression levels of IL-2, but also for example TNF-alpha and IFN, typical for productive response, are actively decreased in the energized cell. Energized cells tend to produce anti-inflammatory IL-10 instead. There are three NFAT proteins in the T-cell, NFAT1, NFAT2 and NFAT4 and apparently are redundant to some extent. Thus when an antigen is properly presented to the T-lymphocytes by an antigen-presenting cell, which displays the antigen on its MHC2 complex and which activates T-cell S costimulatory receptors, T-lymphocytes undergo productive response. However, when T-cells interacts with an antigen not presented by the APCs, that is very probably not the antigen that an immune response should be held against, the T-cell undergoes energy. It has also been shown that certain antigens properly presented by the APCs induce the T-cell activation only weakly. This weak stimuli still activates NFAT sufficiently, however AP1 is not, thereby the energistic response takes place even with the costimulation. Strong stimulation of T-cells either by IL-2 or by tcr slash costimulatory receptors can break the energy. Dominant Tolerance Energy may be taken advantage of for therapeutic uses. The immune response to grafting of transplanted organs and tissues could be minimized without weakening the entire immune system a side effect of immunosuppressive drugs like cyclosporin. Energy may also be used to induce activated lymphocytes to become unresponsive with autoimmune diseases like diabetes mellitus, multiple sclerosis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Likewise, preventing energy in response to a tumoral growth may help in anti-tumor responses. It might also be used for immunotherapeutic treatment of allergies. Dominant and recessive tolerance are forms of a peripheral tolerance. Where so-called recessive tolerance is associated with energized lymphocytes as described above, in the dominant form of tolerance, specialized Treg cells which actively ablate the immune response are developed from the naive T lymphocyte. Similarly to recessive tolerance, Unopposed NFAT signaling is also important for Treg induction. In this case, the NFAT pathway activates another transcription factor, FOXP3 that is a marker of Tregs and participates in their genetic program. The multi-test MERU or CMI multi-test system has been used as a general test of the level of cellular immunity. It is an intradermal test of skin reactivity in which a control is used with seven antigens of bacterial or fungal origin. In this test reactions are categorized according to the number of antigens provoking a response and the summed extent of the skin response to all seven antigens. Here energy is defined as a region of skin reactivity of 0,1 mm, 
hypoergy as a reaction of 2,9 mm in response to fewer than 3 antigens, normergic as a reaction of 10,39 mm or to 3 or more antigens, and hypoergy for a reaction of 40 mm or more. Testing Various chemicals inducing slash inhibiting described T cell signaling pathways can be used to study the energy. The energy in T cells can be induced by ionomycin, the ionophore capable of raising intracellular concentration of calcium ions artificially. Experimental approaches to study energy. Conversely, CAN2 chelators such as EGTA can sequester calcium ions making them unable to cause the energy. Blocking of the pathway leading to the energy can be also done by cyclosporin A, which is capable of inhibiting calcineurin, the phosphatase responsible for dephosphorylating of NFAT priming its activation. PMA, Forbal 12 myristate 13 acetate along with ionomycin is used to induce full T-cells activation by mimicking signals provided naturally by TCR-slash-costimulatory receptors activation.